If you're even the slightest bit into 3D printing, you've definitely heard of Bamboo Lab, but why does everyone rave about their printers and are they actually that good? I have been a 3D printing enthusiast for the past 6 years and my first ever printer was a DaVinci Mini Maker. Since then, the 3D printing market has completely changed. With advancements over the years by Creality with the Ender 3 Pro and its super affordable price tag, the 3D printing world expanded a ton. However, the past two years have completely changed the 3D printing market. 3D printing enthusiasts went from wanting the cheapest printers that money could buy and they can tinker and fix, to wanting high-end quality machines that will work right out of the box. This is mainly because of the Bamboo Lab X1C, but I never owned one. However, I do own the P1S, A1, and A1 Mini, but the A1 is currently recalled for a print bed cable. After using these printers for so long, I consider myself a lazy 3D printing guy now because I rarely use some of the other printers that I own just because Bamboo Lab is so much easier. To start a print on a Bamboo Lab printer, all I have to do is go find the model online, open it in Bamboo Studio, slice it, and send it off to the machine via Wi-Fi. On the other hand, all other printers I have, I would have to grab an SD card from the printer, run it up to the computer, find the model, put the model onto the SD card, take it out of the computer, run it back down to the printer, plug it into the printer, and hope it works. And just so you know, Bamboo Lab is obviously not paying me to say any of this, I just like their printers. At this point with Bamboo Lab printers, you don't even have to load the filament in manually anymore because it does it by itself. I simply have to stick it in the AMS and it'll do the rest for me. Obviously, the filament that I'm putting into the printers is new makers because it's the best filament out there, so you can use code EA10 for a 10% discount. With Bamboo Lab, I'll never have to worry about the printer being on level or spinning those stupid knobs that are on the Ender 3 or any of those other printers because this machine auto levels and auto adjusts the Z offset so you don't have to and the first layers are always buttery smooth. You might be wondering why my build plate looks a little bit different and that's because it's a PEX build plate from Wham Bam and I prefer it much better over PEI because I think that things stick a lot better. All of the prints that have ever come off this machine always look beautiful and accurate and this is probably due to all of the calibration steps that these printers go through. One of the only problems that I have with the P1S is that the cooling fans are a little bit weak for the speed that it prints at. This is something I hope they improve on on their future printers. They're also closed source which a lot of people dislike but I understand where they're coming from. But what happens if you start a 3D print? Can you go out for the day and leave it running? Of course you can. And you can also check on this print throughout the day with the onboard camera that all of the Bamboo Lab printers have, which you can check through the app. The camera can also take time lapses, but I've never tried it before. The printers also come with a little light next to the camera so that you can view the prints at night or monitor them from your phone when it's dark in the room. This machine is also one of the fastest printers that I own, and from its release, it has been one of the fastest printers that is commercially available. I've been pushing this thing's speed for the past few weeks, and I've currently got a 9 minute and 24 second Benchy. One of the biggest things that people complain about on the P1S specifically is the screen that it has because they say that it's not very easy to use. However, I don't find it that difficult to use, and a lot of the time I'm using my smartphone or the computer to control it instead of using the screen. If you're interested in multicolor 3D printing, you only really have three options. Buying a $3,000 Prusa XL tool changer, using a third-party system, or buying a Bamboo Lab AMS. I've tried third-party systems before and they're very hard to get working and often not reliable. On the other hand, the AMS worked right out of the box. It does have some limitations in not being able to use cardboard spools on the AMS and not being able to use big hole sizes on the AMS light. However, these are easy fixes. Also, sometimes filament does get stuck in the PTFE tube when printing in multicolor, but using new makers, I never have this problem. And yes, everyone loves that this machine poops, except the environmentalists, until they find out that PLA is biodegradable. Plus, don't these machines just look so clean and finished, unlike the old machines? Well, all of these features are great, but one of the Bamboo Lab machines must cost something like $5,000, right? Nope. I bought my P1S for $1,000 shipped to my doorstep. The two other Bamboo Lab machines are cheaper at $559 for the A1 and $459 for the A1 Mini. 
If anything on the printer ever needs a replacement, the parts are also super affordable on their website. Both the A1 and A1 Mini have an active noise cancellation feature which makes them super quiet, but the P1S is super duper loud. Everything about these machines is just near perfect in my opinion. Every printer has room for improvement, but I believe Bamboo Lab has the least room they need to improve on. Again, I was not paid to say any of this, however Bamboo Lab did send me the A1 and A1 Mini, but they never told me to make this video. Thank you for watching and listening to me glaze this printer company for 5.5 minutes, but they truly are the best company out there.